What's up, y'all? I'm on these Brooklyn streets right here, walking through. And not everybody's gonna pay me any attention. <laughs> and you know what? I don't care. Um, this might take a while to explain. And I don't wanna be one of those people that spend like seven hours on a video. Doesn't make much sense. My thoughts right now all over the place, but there is a singularity involved here. So if I sound like I'm going around in circles, I will get back to the point. The reason why I'm gonna sound like I'm going around in circles is because I don't know any everything. I really don't. But let me explain. Um, my first introduction to YouTube was in 2008. And back then, YouTube wasn't that big, you know what I'm saying? Um, people were still using Blogger and things like that. Um, there really was no Facebook, um, definitely no Instagram. Um, we were still rocking on MySpace and Black Planet. You know what I mean? And I wanted to make a change uh, in life. I wanted to do something new. And I was always a computer nerd and I was always a pirate. And some people know what a pirate is, some people don't. That's okay, I don't really feel like explaining it. Y'all could just see my feet walking. Um, so I decided, let me cut out of YouTube. I don't know why, but I went over to Facebook. Facebook became my friend for many years, long story short. I hate Facebook, right? I'm more of an Instagram kind of girl. Twitter was in the mix for a while here and there, but for me, Twitter's like the news. You keep looking at certain things, you get depressed, yo. And I can't deal with that, you know? So up on Instagram, and that's what I call it, because I like being ignorant sometimes. So, you know, I'm up on Instagram and I find this guy, right? I ain't gonna mention no names because I don't wanna give narcissists no play. Fuck that, I don't do that, all right? So I found a guy and I was like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Oh, he's a narcissist, word up. We know what to do with him. Um, but like everybody else, I was caught up in watching what's going on and seeing the continued fuckery. At some point in time, I decided to see how deep the rabbit hole really goes, okay? And going down that rabbit hole led me back to YouTube, so here I am. Now, I come back on YouTube almost like a baby. I don't know these back end stories. I don't know all of this going on. I did not know how deep the rabbit hole goes. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't realize that this so-called conscious community, who was supposed to really get together to um, stop this narcissist, is so fragmented, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't, I ain't expect the rabbit hole to go down that way. Um, I'm a little conflicted because on one hand, it ain't none of my motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? It really ain't. I don't know the backstory between half of these people. I don't know why one person's beefing with another person and beefing with another person. For what? We all, I mean, unless you live up the block from me, what the hell are you fucking arguing for? It ain't like y'all gonna see each other and throw up hands. It's just gonna be Twitter fingers all goddamn day, right? And hurt people hurt people. So it's one thing for people to be like, yo, use a, use a liar and have the proof on that. Cool, someone like me from the outside could be like, yeah, that's a liar. That ain't cool. But then when you talk about, you know, somebody's looks and this and that, if it's not a, applying to uh, what the beef is, the fuck are you talking about it for? You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own look. You might be prettier than somebody else. You might be uglier than somebody. Who gives a shit? You know what I'm saying? But that's not what I really want to talk about. I want to talk about friendship. Okay? Now, watching some of these 
people and some of these shenanigans, it made me not even want to post. Because I sure didn't want to be judged by nobody. And I didn't want nobody to think, yo, you like this crazy person over here, or you might be fugazi like these people over here. Because me on the outside, I'm looking to see who the fuck is fugazi and who ain't fugazi. Right? I want to connect with real freaking people. And not just max headrooms. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to connect to no AI. That's what Siri is for. And I don't want to talk to her ass because she ain't telling me what's going on with her and the FBI and the CIA. Right? Ask Siri, are you connected to the FBI or the CIA? She ain't going to answer. So if AI can lie to me, clearly you can lie to me. Right? But let's get back to friendship. I'm an older person. Y'all wouldn't know that if you saw my face or saw my body. And, you know, I get in trouble a lot because I look young and I talk like an older person. And there's certain things I don't command, I don't, you know, ask for, I don't, I don't dig it. And I'm one of them people like, yo, I will get you. So if you got to be for somebody because you got to get them, get them by all means. You know what I'm saying? Get them. But here's my thing. Don't let your loyalty take you too far. You know what I mean? If two people are, are well, let me, let me backtrack it this way. I'm a messed up friend. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a good friend in, the, in this society. As far as this society is concerned, I'm a fucked up friend. Why? Because the way I was raised, you don't, you don't, how should I put this? If, I, if I'm walking with my friend, right and i know that five steps away from where we at right now is a cliff i'm gonna stop and tell my friend yo watch your step because we about to get to a cliff okay and if my friend keeps walking i'm gonna try to hold him back but guess what if my friend pushes me away and say yo let me walk what you want me to do i'm not gonna fall off with their ass you know i'll support them and be like damn i'm gonna miss you as they drop, okay? That might sound messed up, but let's put it in another perspective. I'm the type of person that will hold my friend accountable for their bullshit, okay? If my friend is arguing with somebody else, I ain't gonna jump in for them and da-da-da. Nah, I'm not trying to jump nobody. That's you and them, y'all handle that, right? But if the beef is popping, because of something, my, something wrong that my friend did, I'm gonna tell my friend, yo, that was wrong. I'm not gonna tell him don't do that no more, you grown. You gonna do what you wanna do. But at least my friend would acknowledge what they doing. You know what I mean? They could disagree all day. It's still an acknowledgement to disagree. And people don't realize that. A lot of people don't wanna acknowledge what they do. They wanna just make justifications and do deflections they don't want to sit there and be like, yo, I really did that. Acknowledgement is not justification for your stuff. Okay? Acknowledgement is saying, you know what? I did that. And either one, I apologize because I know it was wrong. Or two, I don't give a fuck. Right? Because before I'm anybody's friend, I got to be a friend of myself. Right? And I have decisions to make. Now, if you my friend and I tell you, yo, what you did was wrong, and you're like, yo, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, Drea. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I have a choice now. I can be like, okay, I still got your back, and it might be far back, because I don't want no part of them consequences that you're gonna receive. Or I could just completely fall back. All right? Support looks different for everybody. All right? And I'm not going to support a crackhead putting the crack pipe in their mouth. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that type of friend. It's a, yeah, let's use the crackhead analogy. All right, because I'm, I'm from New York. And we got a gang of crackheads out here. Well, it went down. Now they on K2. So we can still use K2. Okay? So here we go. I got a friend. I just found out my friend is on K2. Am I just going to let that shit rock? Nah, B. 
I'm going to tell my friend, yo, friend, I know you on that bullshit. And you know I don't like that shit, right? I don't fuck with that. I don't rock with that. I'm not a fan of that. Now, as a person, my friend could be like, yo, I'm not going to do that no more. And lie to my face. Or my friend could be like, yo, you're right, Dre. I'm going to try to stop that. Okay. Or they could be like, you know, Dre, I'm going to keep doing it. I don't give five fucks. That's their choice as a human being, as an adult. So now as an adult, I could be like, all right, well, let me make my decision then based off of my inner peace and what I'm going off of. All right. We all know that hurt people hurt people. So a lot of times when you're going back and forth, back and forth, if somebody says something that hurts you, you're going to say something that hurt them back. That don't mean that, you know, you feel like this overall. It's just when you was dealing with that one person, you wanted to get them. So you might have said X, Y, Z. Right? I don't business all that extra shit. Because it feels like, yo, I stepped into a war. And the war ain't got nothing to do with the freaking narcissist that it should got to do with. Okay? Now, I'm not down with crazy lady. I don't, I don't business crazy lady on her, you know, rants and all this. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Nah, B. I say cut the narcissist off completely. Don't talk about that cat no more. Stop de- don't deal with that cat no more. F that cat. But now what? The cat's out the picture and everybody else is at war. For what? For what? Everybody got their backstory on this one ain't cool with this one for this reason and that reason. Come on, man. That shit the hell out of here because all y'all looking crazy. All y'all looking crazy. And that's messed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm your friend, I'm going to hold you accountable to your shit. You sound crazy, yo. That's me being a good fucking friend. Now, once again, I'll repeat it. You got a couple of choices here. If I say, yo, you looking crazy out in the streets, you could be like, Dre, am I your motherfucking business? You have every right to say that. Right? Every right. Whether I'm your friend or not. Mind your motherfucking business, Dre. Don't worry about that shit. Okay. I'll have to reconsider if we still friends. That's on me. The other thing you could do is be like, you know what? You're right. But I'm going to be the pettiest motherfucker out and I'm going to continue what the fuck I'm doing. All right, that's another choice on me. Because I could be like, well, go ahead. And don't let nobody fuck with you the wrong way. Then I have to step in. You understand? Don't take your loyalty too far. These two people got beef. I'm not just going to jump in their beef like that. I want to know why. Why y'all beefing? Who did what wrong? Because most of the time, when you find out what happened, how it happened, da, 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 that's a mind your business moment. Right? I'm a mom, I've been, because both of y'all are fucking crazy. How about that? How about that? We have to learn. I ain't going to even say it's black people. F all that. Because half of y'all, I don't know what the hell y'all look like. Y'all can say y'all black all day. Right? I don't know that. But what I will say is this. We have to learn how to let our inner child stay inside and let our external adult rock off. I started reading certain books again. And one thing that one book that I'm reading said was, um, plants and animals, they do not have an ego, all right? And gods and goddesses have already transcended the ego. So either way, having a human life, a human experience, is an awesome thing. That's like the best thing to have because you learn how to ascend to the Godhood, right? Very few beings can descend from Godhood and be pure consciousness and drop straight down to humanity. That's rare. That's rare. It's only like three beings in any religion that you could say that about. Okay? And we could consider Jesus one of them. We could consider that. All right? We could say that. So the ascent to transcending this ego that we have to get rid of the memories that create some scars 
behavioral patterns to dissipate, you know, the different levels of the mind, especially that I am, that leads to fears and doubts and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? We gotta learn how to transcend that, yo. So when I see these all out wars and I get confused, I'm like, what the hell? And, I, and my spidey senses is really telling me that if I figure out, if I try to figure out why these two are beefing, why these two are beefing, it's based on high school bullshit. Oh, she pulled my hair. No, 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 not even that. Yo, she pulled my friend's hair, so I hate her. And I'm gonna fuck her up. She ain't pull your hair, what the fuck they got to do with you? Okay? Now, this is how I'm a type of friend. If two people are fighting, one of them is my friend, I'm gonna let my friend get her ass beat. Why? You decided to fight. Now, if two people are fighting and one of them is my friend, I'm gonna let them shoot the fair one, but let somebody else jump in. Then I'm on it. Then I'm on it. Okay? Then I'm on it. Because I can't, why am I gonna jump in if my homegirl decided she wanna fight and then she fought the wrong person, got her ass beat? I'm not a sore loser, but you gotta learn from all your shit. You pick that battle, you ain't winning, okay. I'ma be your friend and clean the blood off and fix the wounds. I'ma be that friend that's gonna be like, yo, here's what you do next. If that's what you want to do, anything. I'm not gonna be that friend that's gonna be like, oh my God, she hit you in your eye. Oh my God, oh, let's beat her ass. Man, I could talk that hypothetical shit, but now I'm too fucking old. And that's the other problem, all right? Too many of y'all are grown as fuck. I ain't talking about the 40 and 50 year olds no more. I'm talking about the 30 year olds that still be trying to call people old and da da da. You grown, motherfucker. You might not be old, but you grown as fuck. So stop acting like high school. Stop reacting in a high school manner. You know what I'm saying? Talk to somebody. Reach out to them. And I know this is cyber world. So it's not like, you know, I go up the block to so-and-so and we hash it out or we shoot the fair one and then that's it. It don't work like that no more. All these Twitter fingers, it's even more reason not to act like eye for an eye. How are you gonna pluck out somebody's eye? Then it turns into somebody calling police on this one, somebody, come on, that shit don't make no sense to me. I wanna progress, not regress. Because for all that, I might take a, I might as well save up money, take a trip, and bust your ass. Does that make any fucking, that makes no sense, yo. None. All this extra shit don't make no sense. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, if you defending yourself and there's a clear cut, here it is, this person disrespecting me, so I'm getting that dumb. I'm never mad at you. Go ahead, get them motherfuckers. They fucked you up. You get them. That's your job. That's not my job to carry your water. I'm too old for that shit. Stop carrying other people's water. And that's what it looks like. Like I said, I could be wrong. I'm on the outside looking in. I don't know nothing for nothing. But at the end of the day, stop carrying other motherfuckers' water, yo. I'm going to give the example of crazy lady. Nah, I can't even give an example of her because she goes crazy. I seen her lie. I heard her lie. And because I've seen that happen, I believe everything everybody else tell me. What that mean? I ain't gonna call the cops on Shorty. What they got to do with me? Nothing. I'ma just let Shorty sit and have the universe take care of her. I can talk about her. It's my channel. It's my video. I can talk about what I want to. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking it that far. Cause there's people out there that just want attention. Okay? They want that shit real bad. And they don't care where they get it from. I'm not feeding them. Fuck that. I don't need the, the vampires near me. And that's why I don't want to post. I don't want to do nothing. Because I don't, I don't want to come off like a vampire. I don't want to come off like none of these people. You feel me? And in my quest to find like-minded individuals or, you know, individuals that I could build with and grow with or whatever, whether it's a cyber world or real world or whatever the case, come on, man. This crazy. This too much. Too, too much. Damn, 20 minutes I talked too much already. Look at that. God damn. Yo, bless all the YouTube people that can say what they need to say in five minutes or less. I'm going to figure it out.
Okay, I really am, cause this shit is cray. Too fucking cray. Alright? That's it. I hope you enjoyed these Brooklyn streets. I'll holler.